really well. I thought we played uh, well defensively. Um, I think our special teams were pretty good. You know, I wasn't happy. I thought we, I thought at times we turned the puck over too much. We had guys trying to do too much, uh, which is you know again you're going to hear that from coaches. You know, but um, I think that we uh, took too many penalties. You know. We had a couple offensives. I don't like offensive zone penalties when you get sticks on guys. I think those are bad penalties. We had a couple of those. We had a, you know, I thought Epps penalty at the end was pretty needless. Um, these guys played very well for us. We don't need that. We need him on the ice, not where he is. I think that, um, I, I think, to be honest with you, I don't think our best players were our best players today either. You know, I, I think they were fine, but I think they have more in the tank and, and, and uh, and could be, they were very solid defensively, but I think there's more there from those guys, and, and that's an encouraging thing. I think we took another step, you know, from you know, tactically watching stuff. I think you could see our guys take another step and do some of the things that, that we wanted to do. But I gotta, I'll also tell you, I'll be honest, I mean, the building was phenomenal, you know, and um, it's great to see when the building's like that. It's, it's really special. I think, I think these tech games are really special. I mean, and I think the, to have that kind of energy and that environment here is special, and our guys could feel it, and I think our guys fed off. Brock Moshmeyer, what is it that you saw in him that told you this kid could play forward? And did you expect the start? Well, a couple things. Forward? He's recruited as a defenseman. He will be a defenseman at some point. Um, we like our defense. We think our defense is, we think we have a very good core defenseman right now. And uh, um, when we recruited Brock in junior, you know, my brother John and Joe Sean were out initially, or the guys that initially saw him. And and the term we I'd use for Brock, Brock's a hockey player. Like he is a hockey player. He is he he understands the game. He he's undersized, but he's you know he's an Alberta kid that plays. You know he's not afraid of anything. Not afraid to go to hard ice. He just knows the game. You know and uh, he is he's played D, but he's actually a converted forward. He was a forward that converted to D. You know, and so we, we want to see, we want him in our lineup because I think he has a huge value on the power play. And uh, so we want him in our lineup. So we, we didn't have a spot at D. So we were really going to play 7D and get him eight or nine minutes there, or we're going to be able to use him in our rotation uh, up front. And we're using our whole bench, you know, right now. So he, he, moved, he fit right in there. I think he's been, I think he's been outstanding in, in his adjustment to forward. And I think he's been really, really efficient on the power play for us, really efficient. I'm surprised Tech never made a charge after you guys went up 2-0. No, I, 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 I never, I, I didn't relax for a second until the thing was over. I mean, I have to be honest with you. Um, they have a, they have a good hockey team. I think night night in night out, this league is going to be very competitive. I don't, you know, we wind up winning the game two nothing. That, that's a that's a you know, there's not much room for error there. So I I wasn't you know taking any breaths. I I thought it was going to be a tough finish, and it was. Dahlstrom getting his first collegiate shutout probably rep represents how good he actually has played lately. I, I agree. I, he has been outstanding. I mean, they, you know, the one game where they knocked some in on him was is in uh, know, Wisconsin the opening night, and honestly, they just stormed us the first period. They were, you know, he couldn't do anything on any of the goals that were scored. Um, I thought he was he was really really solid tonight, and it and it wasn't that hard a game for him. I mean, what I mean by that is. Um, there were hard moments, but it wasn't like he was peppered. He wasn't peppered with high end chances, and then they get a couple great chances. And those are the hardest games for goaltenders to play. And he responded really, really well. Your thoughts on the two checking and boarding from behind? You know, I didn't. I guess I saw him. I mean, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're supposed to call him, and you know, it's it's, it's Tech Northern, and <laughs> that's what's the way it is. So. I'm going away now for tomorrow night's game. How does it feel coming off the, the, off the win going Well, we team? needed to get a win because we got five straight in the road right now. Mm -hmm. five, five straight against good teams and good buildings and tough buildings. Tough travel to Alaska, tough travel back. So we needed to get this game tonight. And uh, I am most pleased with I, I don't. I don't think this team knows how good they can be. I really believe that. I think that and we continue to grow. We continue to take steps. And it's going to be a work in progress. But there's, there's – I have been – Really, really impressed with our leadership this year, and, our, and I wasn't, you know, I, honestly, at last year, I think not not the individuals that were leading, but as a whole, I didn't think we had a good, good chemistry. We were a little bit disjointed at times. I've really been impressed with that. I've really been impressed with the buy-in and the willingness to, and we're growing every night. We were better tonight than we were last Saturday against UNO, and we'll have to be better tomorrow. But if we are, we'll be in good shape. So.